mental health triangle helps us understand the difference between normal struggles from mental illness. The bottom of the triangle represents periods without any stress. People are often in a pensive state when in this stage. Moving up, there's mental distress stage, which represents the regular emotions we experience on a daily basis, like sadness and anger. People tend to fall into a mental health problem stage after a significant change in their life, whether it's the loss of a loved one or getting fired from a job. Grief and sadness are still a normal thing at this point in the triangle. However, it can potentially develop into an illness if dealt with for a prolonged period of time. The top of the triangle represents the people with mental disorders. These people should be seeking help and treatment from a professional. It's important to acknowledge that most people don't fit into this category. Only about 20% of people actually have a mental illness. Depression is a mood disorder characterized by feelings like hopelessness, worthlessness, and thoughts of suicide. However, depression is more than just having a bad day. When these emotions become persistent and intense, it becomes depression. Depression can be caused by a traumatic experience or prolonged stress, but some people have a genetic predisposition to it. It affects about 7% of the adult population in a one-year period, and it affects more women than men. Suicide is the second leading cause of death amongst teens in Canada. ADHD is the most prevalent childhood psychiatric disorder in Canada. It's been observed for over 200 years. 5% of children are diagnosed and 65% of those children's teens, with 2.5 of those as adults. There are both genetic and environment factors, medication, social skills, training and support groups that help with ADHD. General anxiety disorder, or GAD, causes a disruption in the areas of the brain that control the signals that identify danger and initiate actions to help avoid it. When these mechanisms don't work, people may experience feelings of danger when there is none. This results in excessive worry and stress towards everyday events. GAD isn't just normal stress. It is often constant, difficult to manage, and may last for a long period of time. Up to 9% of people will develop GAD in their lifetime, and women being twice as likely to develop it. If you're suffering from mental health problems or illnesses, there are a couple of treatment options for you, such as psychotherapy, alternative medicine, medication, peer groups, support groups, and much more. But the most important thing is, do not suffer in silence. End of silence.